welcome back to my studio today. I always love having you stop by for some craftiness. And today we're going to be doing this little card. It is just a door. It's a simple card. I want to show you how to use a technique um, using markers. No stamp pads, just markers today. So I will be using um, a stamp set. It's just, uh, it's called door. And um, I'm also going to be using the holiday lamp post. Now you can use this for the holidays and put a cute little wreath on it. Um, but I'm going to be using it for an all occasion card. All right. So you just need to know that look beyond the borders here. You can add a little wreath um, or you can decorate your pole any way that you want. Today we're going to be just doing this cute summery little card right here. All right. So let's get started. I'm going to start off with the door and um, the technique, all right? So let me just stick that over there. We're gonna bring in my Tim Holtz. Um, this is my Tim Holtz stamp positioner, and I'm gonna bring in my marker. Like I told you, I'm gonna be using uh, La Plume markers. These are the Marvy markers, and I'm using number 45 sepia because I wanted to give it that vintage look. And all I'm gonna do is just take literally and scrub in the color. I'm just going over all of the lines. I kind of go in a little bit of an order so that I know what I've done, what I haven't done. And the reason I like to use the stamp positioner is because if I did forget a spot, all I have to do is lift it back up, re-ink that one spot, and we're good to go. Now I am gonna be using watercolor paper and um, it just works really well for this technique. All right. And that's perfect. Now, if I did get a spot that was um, lighter or darker, um, all I have to do is I have to just go back in, re-ink a little bit. I don't want to do it too much because this did come out really well, but I just wanted to show you that you just re-ink, and that's the beauty of this stamp positioner. Um, we're going to take and now use our... Let me see. I think I'll, I'll do the words. Um, on here, I did put a little sentiment on the top, and I used um, from Spellbinders. It's called Grace, Gracefully Tiny Tags. Um, I love this because all of these little words right in here fit inside the tag. So I'm just going to be using one that says, um, For a Sweet Friend, because I just thought this, um, this cute little door lent itself to that. All right, so I'm just going to take and stamp that down there, and we're good to go. Now, I'm going to take some other markers, okay? So I'm going to be using three different colors of marker, and you can buy these in sets um, if you want to. Um, this one right here is the number 15, olive green. This one right here is the number 20, magenta. And this one right here is the number 86, African Violet. Now, you can get these on my affiliate code at Simon Says. Just click on the link below or up there in the upper right-hand corner. There's a little I, and that's all the information you need up there. I'm also going to bring in a clear block and some, uh, just a paper towel, because I think those are important. I'm going to be using a water brush for today's job. All right, so for today's card, we're going to just use a water brush. So I'm going to bring this into the picture right here. Now, what I want to show you is if you use too much water, it can get pretty messy. It's not a bad thing, but it is a different thing. All right, and what I mean by that is um, this one right here, I added a lot of water to it, and you can see that it's a little bit darker than this one right here. I used less water on this one than I did on this one, all right? And then this one, I used less water on the sepia, but I used more water on the little flowers. So it just depends on what look you want to give it, all right? So I'm going to take and I'm going to wet my brush and make sure this is clean, okay? Um, and that's why I always have the paper right here. Now, the first thing I'm going to do is I'm going to take and I'm going to um, just get all of the sepia to look a little bit more um, shaded. So that's where I was saying, if you color lots and lots and lots of it, um, like I did the windows and, and here, it's not wrong. It's just a different look. So for this one, I'm going to go with less. All right. So I'll start with the uh, just the little slats on the house. And all I'm doing is just adding a little bit of water to them. And what it does is it takes it takes the, um, the ink and just kind of gives it that watercolor look. All right, now I'm using a small blending brush. I probably could have used a medium size, but for right now, we're just gonna use this one. All right, so what I'm doing is just going over the porch and the house. There we go. See? And the, like I said, depending on what kind of look you want is the, uh, 
is how much water you want to put on there. So I'll just take and put a little bit around the doors. I don't want too much on my windows. I'm going to leave those a little bit shaded the way they are, but I am doing it to all of the door jam and the panels. See how fast this is? And look at how it's starting to come to life. Isn't that so neat? Here we go. And what this does right here is it actually shows you where to do it. And I'm just doing it on, there we go. There, see, less is more. So far, so good. I'm just looking to see if I missed any of the, the major parts here. Good. So far, so good. All right. Now what I want to do is I want to add some color. So I'm going to take my markers and rather than just coloring them in, because that's going to give us too much, I'm just going to add color to the block. All right. So I'm going to be picking up my colors from these blocks, from this block right here. So I took the three colors and now I'm just going to pick it up. Now I don't want a lot of water on this, so I'm going to literally not just, I'm just going to take and I'm just going to dab these on. I'm not adding any water to my brush at all by squeezing here. I just want a little bit of color and I'm just dabbing it in. All the colors kind of run together in here, so, and we're giving it that little watercolor look, so we're good to go. So now I'm going to just clean it off and go to the next color. See how easy this is? And fast, it's so fast. Alrighty, now let's put a little bit of green in there just to show that we do have some leaves. There we go. Look at how this is just coming to life. It's just, just absolutely beautiful. Very simple. Alrighty, so we've got a few more things left to do. So I want to take a little bit of this um, this light purple right here, okay? I'm going to add just a little bit to my lantern. Now remember, I've still got a little bit of water left in my brush, but not a lot, all right? Get a little bit more in this corner, maybe a little bit too much. You can actually take some away, all right? And we're going to do the same thing over here on the mailbox. Not too much. If you put too much on, just go back with some water and take it off. There we go. There's that right there. And I'm not going to do too much else except for the grass down here. We're just going to sit back and admire it. Isn't that adorable? Look at that. So, so very easy. I just want to do one more little thing right over here. I just want to go down this pole. And like I said, if you keep going back and doing more and more, you can probably overdo. But look at how adorable that is. And it just gives it that watercolor. Oh, I forgot this right here. Um, it just gives that watercolor. This is the vase. Gives it that watercolor look. So very, very pretty. And that's what you want to do. You want to go back and look and see what you've got done. Did you miss a spot anywhere? So this is my picture. All right, so let's take and get all this out of the way. And we're going to take and run our, this is our lantern. I just took a scrap piece of paper that I had. And I'm going to take and try to get two of these out of here. So I'm going to take and switch you around to show you that I'm using my Vagabond from Tim Holtz. And I love this. It gives you such an even pressure right here. And... All right, let's see if I can take and do another one right here on the side. So let me get my, my uh, pokey tool right here. Pop out this little guy. What I love about this um, lantern is it, it has so much um, dimension to it. It's got little, um, it's got some little uh, embossing up here. It's just so pretty. 
So let me just see if I can get out another, I can, I can, look at that. I just, whoops, let, let me just show you. Look at that, I can get another one out of this one. I love it when I can do that. All right, that was just an old scrap piece of paper that I had laying around, because you know me, I love to save paper. And then what I do is I put these in my envelope for the next time. So, <laughs> sorry, left you over there. Um, and as you can see, I have all, there they are. I have all these little, so then I, I just have them and I grab them as I need them. All right, so now we've got this piece and this piece. We're ready to put our little guy together. And this is what I was showing you when the camera was over there. I saved all of that paper. All right, so this was just a scrap piece of paper that is now used up well. All right, and then this is just our, our, little, uh, our little die right here. So let's just grab the pieces of paper. Yes, I've got another one going on because I never do just one. All right, and we're just gonna take this and put it all together. All right, so let's attach this to this just with our little, um, I'm using the um, Scotch Advance glider and I'm just gonna take and add that. That is the mega of guns. And we're going to add that directly to our card base. I'm doing this off to the left side just so that we can have room for our little guy right here. Now this is very, very tiny. So what I did is I took my foam squares and I always do this. I just cut them. All right, so even though these are the smallest ones, I still use um, the uh, foam squares to cut, and then they're the, just the right size. All right, so I just have one up there, one down there, and let me just grab one for, I'm actually going to cut it again, believe it or not. And I have one to save. And this one's going to go right here in the middle. I wanted this one popped. You don't have to, but I just wanted this one to be popped so it was above and it looked like it was in the front yard of this little door. Okay, take off your little pieces right here. They're so tiny. Okay, and then just add that to your card. And look at how fast that card is absolutely beautiful Ta-da! look at that so so pretty look at look at look at I just love this card and this one you can put in your in your um, card box and have it on the go so if you have just a real because it's just for a sweet friend all right and who doesn't have their sweet friends I hope you enjoyed my post for today you stop by anytime I love having you here remember to shop my affiliate codes it's the new way I have um, of shopping with me and it just helps me um, to, to create more for you um, because I have that love of crafting and I'd love to share it with you so let me know if you have any questions thank you for stopping by today and stop by soon